Good morning. Good morning. My name is Pamela Powers and I'm the newly elected city clerk here in Northampton. I'll be your master of ceremonies for today's proceedings and it's a great honor to be here with you today. It's very cold outside so thank you for coming and braving the cold. We're going to begin our ceremony with the Pledge of Allegiance led by Steve Connor, who is the Director of Central Hampshire Veteran Services. Yes, I didn't need my glasses. <laughs> I know this one. <laughs> Hands over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and into the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Rabbi Justin David is going to be giving today's invocation. He joins us from the congregation B'nai Israel here in Northampton where he has served for over 10 years as a compassionate champion for social justice. His leadership model is one of understanding the needs of the community and adapting and broadening the scope of his outreach with an open mind, open arms, and a warm spirit of inclusiveness. He is recognized far and wide as a human rights hero, where his voice for human dignity and social change can be heard and is well regarded beyond the city limits of Northampton. Please welcome Rabbi David, Justin David. Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. And uh, before I share just a few brief words, I just want to say what an honor it is to be here with so many people who give of yourselves so selflessly and people I've known over the years as neighbors, as friends, and teachers. And it's, really humbly. Um, I just have a few words by way of invocation. These words are adapted from a very simple traditional Jewish prayer for peace that's just part of our uh, daily cycle of prayer and so uh, adapted for this moment and the sacred work that uh, all of you are doing. Let us seek peace and wholeness for our community. Let us help each other hold a vision of what that peace and wholeness can look like. In the daily work that we do, let us help each other hold that vision in front of us. Most of all, let us be aware of the privilege we have in sharing our voices, always keeping in mind those who have voices that aren't being shared. And most of all, that we come to public life with a yearning, with a passion for justice, with a dedication and a desire for connection. Have a beautiful day, everybody. Thank you, Rabbi David. Now we'll come to the portion of the ceremony where I will administer the oath of office to all of the elected officials. I'll begin with the mayor. After the mayor, I'll administer the oath to each elected body as a group. David J. Narkowitz. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. To the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And will support the Constitution thereof. And will support the Constitution thereof. I, David J. Narkowitz. I, David J. Narkowitz. Do solemnly swear and affirm. Do solemnly swear and affirm. That I will faith that I will faithfully and impartially that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform discharge and perform all of the duties all of the duties incumbent upon me as mayor of Northampton incumbent upon me as mayor of Northampton according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability and understandably 
and, and, and understanding. And understanding. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Of the Constitution and laws. Of the Constitution and laws. Of the Commonwealth. Of the Commonwealth. The Charter. The Charter. Ordinances. Ordinances. And the rules of the City of Northampton. And the rules of the City of Northampton. I, David J. Narkowitz. I, David J. Narkowitz. Do solemnly swear and affirm. Do solemnly swear and affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Congratulations. Thank you. read the names of the city councilors and ask that as I call your name you rise and remain standing until after the oath. At large city councilor William Dwight and Ryan O'Donnell. Ward 1 councilor Maureen Carney. Ward 2 councilor Dennis Bidwell. Ward 3 councilor James Nash. Ward 4 councilor Gina Louise Shera. Ward 5 councilor David Murphy. Ward 6 Councilor Marianne Labarge. And Ward 7 Councilor Elisa Klein. If you, would, uh, if you would raise your right hand and repeat after me. Aye. 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 Please state your name. William Dwight. Solemnly swear and affirm. Solemnly swear and affirm. To faithfully and impartially. To faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. To which I have been elected. To which, to which I have been elected. In accordance with. In accordance with. with the Constitution of this Commonwealth. The Constitution of this Commonwealth. The Charter. The Charter. Ordinances. Ordinances. And the rules of the City of Northampton. And the rules of the City of Northampton. To the best of my knowledge and ability. To the best of my knowledge and ability. Congratulations. Thank you. Now time for the members of the school committee. Again, I ask that as I call your name, please rise and remain standing until after the oath is administered. At large school committee member Molly Burnham and Susan Boss. Ward one school committee member Rebecca Busansky. Ward two school committee member Laura Fallon. Ward three school committee member Howard Moore. Ward 4, School Committee Member Edward Zakowski. Ward 5, School Committee Member Ann Hennessy. Ward 6, School Committee Member Lonnie Kaufman. And Ward 7, School Committee Member Downey Meyer. Good morning. Can you raise your right hand for me, please? And repeat after me. Aye. Aye. Please state your name. Edward Sahowski, Jr. Solemnly swear and affirm. Solemnly swear and affirm. To faithfully and impartially. To faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. In accordance with. In accordance with. The Constitution of this Commonwealth. The Constitution of this Commonwealth. The charter, the charter, the charter, ordinances, ordinances, and the rules of the city of Northampton, and the rules of the city of Northampton, to the best of my knowledge and ability, to the best of my knowledge and ability. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, the trustees of Smith School, and I ask that you uh, stand as I call your name and. Remain standing until after the oath. Michael Cayley, John Cotton, and Thomas Fitzgerald. Can you raise your right hand, please, and repeat after me. Aye. Please state your name. 
solemnly swear and affirm. Solemnly swear and affirm. To faithfully and impartially. To faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. To discharge and perform. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. To which I have been elected. Which I have been elected. In accordance with the. In accordance with. In accordance with. The Constitution of this Commonwealth. The Constitution of this Commonwealth. The Charter. The Charter. Ordinances, ordinances and the rules of the city of Northampton. And the rules of the city of Northampton. To the best of my knowledge and ability. To the best of my knowledge and ability. Congratulations. It's now time for the trustees under the will of Charles E. Forbes. As I call your name, please rise and remain standing until after the oath. Russell Carrier and Marjorie Hess. Good morning. Please raise your, raise your right hand and repeat after me. Aye. Aye. Uh, please state your name. Russ Solemnly swear and affirm. Solemnly swear and affirm. To faithfully and impartially. To faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. In accordance with. In accordance with. The Constitution of this Commonwealth. The Constitution of this Commonwealth. The Charter. The Charter. Ordinances, ordinances and the rules of the city of Northampton to the best of my knowledge and ability. Congratulations. And finally, we conclude with the oath uh, for David Murphy as the elector under the Oliver Smith will. I, David Murphy, solemnly swear and affirm, to solemnly swear and affirm, to faithfully and impartially, to faithfully and impartially discharge, and perform, discharge and perform, the duties of the office, the duties of the office to, which I have been elected, to which I have been elected, in accordance with, in accordance with the, Constitution of this Commonwealth, the Constitution of this Commonwealth, the Charter, the Charter ordinances, ordinances, and the rules of the city of Northampton. And the rules of the city of Northampton. To the best of my knowledge and ability. To the best of my knowledge and ability. Thank you. Congratulations to all of your elected officials. <coughs> Mayor David J. Narkowitz has served our city well. His leadership role began far earlier than when he was named the interim mayor back in 2011. For four years, he served as Ward 4 City Councilor and then at-large City Councilor where he served as the President of the City Council. He is our 44th Mayor and has the distinction of serving his first two terms, his first two-year term under the former City Charter and will now begin his second of two four-year terms. Prior to City Government, Mayor Narkowitz was the District Aide to former U.S. Congressman John Olver. He also served on many legislative staffs in Washington, D.C. He's an alumnus of the University of Massachusetts in Amherst, where he graduated Phi Beta Kappa with a BA in political science. He also served on active duty in the United States Air Force and as a member of the Massachusetts Air National Guard. Please welcome to the podium, Mayor David J. Narkowitz. David, Reverend Weir, District Attorney Sullivan, other dis distinguished guests, current and former appointed and elected officials, members of the City Council, School Committee, trustees of Smith Vocational and Agricultural <coughs> High School, trustees of Forbes Library, family and friends, and citizens of Northampton. 
We gather to, today to renew our city government, to take oaths of office as leaders elected by our fellow residents to serve this community, to carry on and advance the important work of those who came before us over the last 364 years, beginning when Northampton was first established in 1654, as it transitioned from town to city government in 1883, and continuing up to and now beyond the adoption of our modern city charter in 2012. It is my great honor and distinction to count myself among the 24 men and women who have taken an oath to serve this community to the best of our abilities. We come from all corners of the city and from all different backgrounds and walks of life. Educators, engineers, realtors, retirees, lawyers, labor officials, stay-at-home parents, consultants, famous children's authors, and yes, even pie salesmen. <laughs> we are charged with making decisions about how local tax dollars are allocated to city services and infrastructure and what local laws will govern us. We are charged with making decisions about how our children will be educated, both in academic classrooms as well as vocational and technical shops, and how to meet their individual needs, no matter how challenging. We are charged with making decisions about how our public library will serve its patrons and the community in a rapidly changing information age. Together, our decisions must reflect the needs, priorities, and values of our community. That is, at its core, our collective charge. Municipal government is up close and personal government. Our work and decisions have a direct impact on Northampton's quality of life. We both live alongside and serve our neighbors, our co-workers, and our fellow school parents. There are no turnpike or airline miles separating us from our constituents. Many of the decisions we make, whether about parking or snow plowing or school funding or building a senior center, can be seen or felt all around us in real time. Our government is not conducted in far off gilded capital buildings, but in modest city meeting rooms, school gymnasiums, and sometimes even in backyards and living rooms. We welcome public attendance and invite participation in our decision making. Many key decisions and policy recommendations are made not by elected officials, but by the hundreds of city residents who serve in volunteer roles on the two dozen boards, committees, and commissions that complement and support our elected arms of local government. I am proud to serve in this government and honored that the people of Northampton have placed their trust in me to lead our great city for another four years as its chief executive officer. I pledge to work hard every day to both oversee and partner with the hundreds of hardworking city employees who serve our community and its residents. I pledge to ensure that our government functions effectively, openly, collaboratively, and always in the best interests of the city. And most importantly, I pledge to be an active leader and listener engaged in the community, learning from the residents who elected me about our city's many challenges and opportunities. As we embark on this new term, know that under my administration, we will pursue continued fiscal stability, spending precious tax dollars wisely, using multi-year forecasting to build sustainable budgets, reserves, and capital programs, and seeking out new sources of revenue and increased state aid that can decrease our reliance on property tax. We will support excellent public schools that serve the needs of all children, preparing them to achieve their goals and be the future scholars, 
innovators, and leaders of this city and nation. We will invest in infrastructure, rebuilding our streets and sidewalks, and ensuring that critical water, sewer, and stormwater systems are maintained and upgraded to meet environmental and climate challenges for this future, for this and future generations. We will support economic development and job creation, promoting a thriving business and cultural economy that can provide employment opportunities and ensure reinvestment of our dollars locally. We will deliver critical services to our residents from public works to public health <coughs> to 911 emergency dispatch to parks and recreation, always seeking efficiency, innovation, and expanded use of technology to ensure both high quality and cost effective delivery. We will serve our veterans and seniors, supporting policies, programs, and outreach that address their unique needs and honor their important place in our community and society. We will work to keep Northampton affordable and support and invest in housing programs and production that create opportunities for people on every rung of the economic ladder, including those experiencing homelessness, to live, work, raise a family, and retire in our community. We will keep our neighbor communities and neighborhoods safe with well-trained and well-equipped public safety personnel and progressive community-based approaches to ensuring communication, collaboration, and trust <coughs> with those they are sworn to protect. We will advance a smart and sustainable transportation system, supporting public transit and expanded passenger rail, and encouraging more walking and biking by investing in complete streets, rail trails, bike sharing, and other walk-bike infrastructure. We will preserve our open spaces and rich agricultural land and farming heritage, and continue to replant our city's critical shade tree canopy. We will protect the public health and work diligently, collaboratively, and compassionately to address one of our community and nation's most pressing public health issues, addiction to opioids and other deadly drugs. We will focus on climate change and renewable energy, updating our sustainable Northampton master plan to address climate resiliency and regeneration, reducing our greenhouse gas emissions by 80% before 2050 under the Paris Agreement, and establishing a local target date and action plan for achieving 100% renewable energy use. These are the things we will work to do over the next four years. Here is what we will not do. We will not compromise our core values as a community. We will not walk away from the principles of fairness, equality, and justice. We will not erect walls, real or metaphorical, to divide or separate us from each other or collectively from the other. We will not let go unchallenged laws or policies that codify fear and hatred and violate our Constitution. We will not allow hard-fought rights and progress to be rolled back without opposition or resistance. We must remain a welcoming city committed to social and economic justice for all people, regardless of whether they are rich or poor, black or white, male or female, gay or straight, Catholic or Muslim, able or disabled, native born, or refugee. 124 years ago, Mayor Henry Kimball delivered his January 1st, 1894 inaugural address to the Northampton City Council, as was the tradition at the time. I can find no way to improve upon Mayor Kimball's closing charge to those assembled, so I will not try. Quote, we have taken an oath which subordinates all obligations to party, to fidelity to the city, and subjects every personal and political interest to the public good. Let our only strife be how best to advance the interests of our city and to promote the prosperity, 
and happiness of all her people. Let us now together begin the work of this renewed city government. Thank you. Mm. ceremony with a benediction from Reverend Todd Weir of First Churches of Northampton. Reverend Weir is known for his philosophy of uniting spiritual growth and prayer with the work of social ministry, peace, and justice. To Reverend Weir, these are not just words. He's a working advocate for affordable housing. He's an ardent leader of transitional housing programs for the homeless and he currently serves on the Board of Friends of the Homeless and Northampton Housing Partnership. Please welcome Reverend Weir. I just want to say at the conclusion of the benediction, uh, that concludes today's um, event, and I'll ask that you exit the lobby, and once again, thank you for coming. I invite all of you, if you desire, to please stand. And uh, let this benediction be both a uh, charge for our elected officials, but also for all of us as residents and citizens. Uh, we all pursue the common good together, and we all have our role to play. And so maybe this is a moment where we all get to raise our right hand, if you desire, um, to pledge ourselves, our support, and our blessing um, as we work together to make this a community that we want to raise our children and grow and thrive in. This morning we pause to give thanks for our unity as a people, gathered to charge and empower our elected officials of our city. We're grateful for the character of our community, for the relative prosperity, for the tolerance and affirmation of a diversity of people and a desire for the common good to be enacted among us. We are grateful for people who dedicate themselves to leadership and to service. And together we charge them to always be truthful and gracious and diligent in their responsibilities. May they be guided with wisdom as they face the challenges of a world that changes so quickly around us. May they seek a unity of purpose in this turbulent and often divisive time. Grant them boldness when it is necessary for justice. And let them also be bridge builders in overcoming what may be even necessary conflict and lead them to be a people of depth and purpose and responsibility. And may we as citizens offer our support and a generosity of spirit to those who are given authority to administrate and serve the common good in our community. Help us to recognize our mutual responsibilities and guard against apathy and resignation. Let us not shrink from honest questioning or necessary debate but always to begin with goodwill and curiosity and a desire to grow and change and learn from one another. And may the blessings of providence be upon all of us together as we pray to the God of our understanding. And in this new year of 2018, may we all be a light of compassion and wisdom and justice and empower us all in the vigorous pursuit of our best ideals that we may not falter in the challenges ahead of us. Amen. <laughs>